So there we have got uh, question number eight, which is question 8.1. Still uh, working with our geometry of straight lines. Uh, the first part which we are given is in the diagram below, calculate the size of X. So we are not even told about the reasons, just calculate the value or the size of X. All right, so this is 60 degrees here. Uh, let me just indicate properly, that is the 60 degrees, this angle. Uh, the 20 degrees that we are seeing, it's here. That is the 20 degrees, and that is our X there. So if you are to consider these two lines are parallel, and we are forming a Z. Take note here, it is a Z that you're forming, which means you're talking of what? The alternate angles. And we do know alternate angles are equal which means the wall of this angle here is equal to the wall of this angle that we are given. But here there are two angles. Take note. There are two angles, but the, combined together, it is equal to this 60 degrees. So you can actually form an equation to say the wall of this angle combined, which is x plus 20 degrees, is supposed to be equal to what? to 60 degrees. So there we are considering what? Uh, the alternate uh, the alternate angles in that case, all right? The ones which form a Z. So we formed an equation. Let's solve uh, for X, take this to the other side. Just uh, the moment it crosses the equal sign, changes the sign. So meaning to say X is equal to 60 minus 20. It was a plus. This side is going to be a minus. So that's a uh, minus 20 degrees, so that's the value of x, uh, which is going to be uh, 40 degrees, just like that. So we considered the part of what? Alternate angles. This angle is 60, it means the wall of this angle is 60 degrees, so the sum of these two angles is supposed to give us what? Uh, 60 degrees, that's the case. All right, let's consider question 8.2, uh, that's another question, uh, which is four marks, all right? So they were asked to calculate the size of m. All right, this is where our angle M is. All right, so guys, the way the diagram is now, okay, the X there is like here, and this M here is just like this, guys, all right? So that's our angle M, and that's our U. Okay, very sorry for this, guys. You know, our question papers, and this is Tim. All right, this is the 35 degrees, which is at this point, all right, that's the 35 degrees. The 50 degrees that we are seeing here, yes, is this one that is exactly here, the 50 degrees, all right. So that is where our 50 degrees is, all right. So that is the concept, all right? That is what we are given, and we are asked to find the size of angle M. Okay, let's see what we are given in this case. How can we determine or have the angle M? This is... Remember, what are we talking about here? A parallelogram. Two sides, opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel. All right, so you're going to consider this as a parallelogram where opposite sides are parallel. So from that concept, it follows that this angle that we have at M is going to be equal to the angle at T. Remember our properties of a, a parallelogram, opposite angles, they are also equal. So angle M that we are given is equal to this angle T that we have there. So angle M and angle T are equal from opposite angles of a what? Parallelogram. These are properties, these are properties that we need to know from our parallelogram. So Having this, it can be an advantage to know this because I can calculate angle T. From which concept? Angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So guys, this is the 35 years not going to work because if you consider the parallel lines, it was going to be like this. This one. That is where maybe you can calculate this angle here if you want to use that. But if, if you want to use this, guys, concept, these two angles are equal. So we can consider that by calculating the angle T, we are already calculating the angle M. 
opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So that is the concept. So you can calculate angle T from angles inside of a triangle, uh, angle T plus the 35 and the 50. So if you add this 35 degrees plus 50 degrees is supposed to give us 180 degrees. That is angles in a what? Angles in a triangle. So there we are talking about angles in a triangle. So that is uh, what made us to add this whole part to uh, 180 uh, to 180 degrees. So we can add uh, these two angles. That's going to be angle T plus uh, 35 plus 55, which is 85 degrees, is equal to 180 degrees. So let's take this to the other side. It's a plus, so it's going to be a minus that side. So angle T is equal to 180 minus 85 degrees. So we are going to subtract 180 minus 85 degrees, which is going to give us uh, 95 degrees. So this angle here was going to be 95 degrees, which is the angle T. If it is 95 degrees, therefore angle M is also going to be what? Uh, 90 degrees. Remember I said angle M is equal to angle T. This we are using the properties of what? The properties of a parallelogram. All right. So let's say I do not understand the way or the, this property of a parallelogram. Remember guys, this property is somehow you might skip one to in an in, in exam and you have uh, actually forgotten that. All right. So I just want to remove this slowly so that it's not going to it's not going to affect this one so this is it we can calculate this same angle m that we are having here all right which is this one that we are having without the concept that we used this side of uh, uh this angle of uh the angles of a triangle without that concept we can ignore that now let's consider this to say we have got the parallel lines, but is this part going to help us? No. Look here. This is not going to give us anything. It was supposed to be like this in order for us to consider the 35 to this point. So there's nothing that we can do there. But what about these parallel lines? Let's look what is happening at T uh, from this T here to this point. We are forming a Z. Look, along the lines which are parallel. along these two lines which are parallel. So what does it mean? If this is 50 degrees, therefore this angle at U, this one, also it is going to be 50 degrees. This angle at U is going to be 50 degrees. So if this is U1 and this is U2, you're going to say this is U1 and this is U2, which is 50 degrees. All right. So what is it now that we are going to use to obtain this angle that we are given here? All right. If you are to consider there, we have got the parallel lines. And we are going to use this concept this time. We are forming a C there, core interior angles here. A C from these two lines which are parallel. We are now forming a C. Meaning to say, they must give us 180 degrees, core interior angles. So if I add this angle M to this 50 degrees, to this 35 degrees, I'm supposed to obtain 180 degrees. From which concept now? Core interior angles. Core interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees. Remember from our introduction, the ones that form a C, they add up to 180. So thus we can calculate M. So this one, we are calculating straight M. There's nothing to do with the T. It's another way that we can use. So remember, that's another way that we could have calculated our M. All right, so let's calculate uh, M plus 50 plus 35, that is going to be 85 degrees, which is equal to 180 degrees. Transpose the 85, uh, this side, that is going to be a minus. So remember, it's a positive, so it will be a minus there. So M is going to be the difference between these two. That is 180 degrees 
minus 85 degrees. And that was going to give us 95 degrees, which is the same as the way that we just calculated previously. It is the same way as we calculated previously. So do uh, revisions as much as you can. Uh, it's only that I do, I, I removed it. All right, that part, I removed the calculation. But if you check, that was the same part, calculating angle T and calculate having angle T, we obtain 95 and you say these two angles, they are equal from the properties of what? A parallelogram. This one, we can use the properties of the parallel lines with, uh, that are there. So that's another way that we could have calculated from the core interior angle concept. So I do not know which one was easier for you. Let's just revise as much as we can. 